Hello everyone and welcome to this session uh, that I'm covering on how to use uh, Blackboard Ultra. I hope you are staying COVID-19 free. I have written the steps and uh, I'll try to follow those steps uh, and I'll be giving it to you um, as you go uh, in creating this. These are basically the steps that I've created that you will follow. Uh, first thing we will do for step one is click on customization on the left side and then after that step two we click on tool availability and then, uh, then it says then make sure that Blackboard Collaborate is checked for the available column. So first customization on the left then click tool availability. So let's go to that. So you have customization and then we click on tool availability on Blackboard and then it's in alphabetical order so go down to Blackboard uh, Collaborate Ultra. Make sure this is checked on the available column. And then after that, uh, step four says click on course tools on the left side. So we go here. Uh, so here you will see course tools. And then you have Blackboard Collaborate and you have Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. So you want to click on the Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. And this is what you will get. So once you get this, uh, you have the option to click on create session here or here. Normally, sometimes you will see in different browsers or different setup, you'll see a little plus sign here, and you might want to click on that. Um, either option is fine. And then once we click on this, so here we will see uh, the details of the Blackboard Ultra session that you will create. So here you can call it because of COVID 19 or call it. Uh, what it is, uh, maybe um, a virtual classroom or something like that. I have already created one, but maybe call it virtual classroom too, just for uh, the purpose of creating this video. And then here we, you have the details. Again, I just said uh, provide the details. I'm not uh, giving you the choices. Uh, you can choose whatever you want. Um, and then once you add the description and the details of the session, that's basically it and you save it. And then after that we go to step 8. But let me explain and add some more steps here. So here you have virtual classroom 2 and then you can have this guest access in case you want to copy this link and provide it to your students. You want to make sure that you have this set up. And then the guest role, let's say if you want your students to present, you can choose them uh, to be part of the presenters. like presenter or keep it as participant whichever one and then in the details the time that you start today um, 2 10 and then you can have an end date or you can have a repeat session where you repeat this uh, every uh, 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 what do you call uh, once you select this you can say weekly or every week you can choose how many days you want to present or you can have a no end date so you want to make sure that this is open all the time and your students can access it and then uh, some more details here you can provide whether the students can uh, uh, allow recording downloads, uh, show audio, show video, and so forth, but allow private chat, chat, and so forth. So you have all these other details. And then it will also come with a number that they can dial in. And then you can copy uh, this from here, or you can copy in another place, which I will show you later. So if I copy this now, uh, and then click Save here, now this session is created. As you see, it will say virtual classroom two. Then the next step is on the top left hand corner of the menu, click on the little plus sign icon to add the menu of the Collaborate Ultra. The little plus sign is, um, I need to move this. It actually shows up right here below. Uh, right here, this little plus sign. Uh, once you click on that, scroll down and select course link. Um, maybe if I scroll up a little bit more. So the plus sign and then you will select course link. And then once you click on the course link, um, sorry, not the course link, we want the, uh, uh, the, tool, uh, the tool link is what we need. So once you click on the tool link, on the drop down, the third one should say Blackboard um, Collaborate Ultra. And then here you provide a description of what you want for that menu on the left side to show up. Um, call it uh, uh, 
virtual. I just call it virtual for now, um, so that um, I have virtual classroom already. All right, so submit, and that should show up here. Now, once this shows up, um, you want to click on this little drop down right here, and then click on show link. Okay, maybe that's one step that I might want to add here after you add the description on the top left hand corner. I'm saying to add that, um, or maybe um, select the link that was just created and choose show link. Okay, as an extra step. And then after that, it says click on two link and Blackboard Collaborate Ultra for the type. That was basically the drop down. Maybe this should be the next step uh, after that. All right. Let me move this up so that we have it like that. Okay, so it will be show the description of the students like virtual classroom and then select the link that was just created and choose show link. And then after that will be the copy that like we copied already, but um, you have the choice. So if I click on this one right here, okay, here we have the virtual classroom two that we created. Now here you can um, copy the guest link again. This is what I was talking about. So you can copy this. Now it says copied. You can go to the announcement and then create a little announcement with the link. Okay, so you can say create an announcement, um, call it a virtual classroom, and then say whatever statements that you want to make, paste that link, and then highlight that link, and then select this symbol, that uh, icon that looks like a stapler, click on that, and then you might want to paste that here, control V, and then the target, you can make it a new window, okay? You make a new window so that when they click on it, they don't go away from Blackboard, and it just points it to um, to another window that it will open. And then you say, okay, I already have it. That's why I didn't want to say, okay. All right, um, so cancel this. Because I already have the virtual classroom created, and then I can click on it, and then, um, say join session so this will load and this is basically where you will be um, providing your instruction how do you say this? I'll keep even all the time in case um, if something like this pops up for you to allow the microphone just say okay something like that uh, so this is how it will show up right uh, so it's asking you to test it, your sound and so forth, to say allow it. Uh, again, each browser is different how it works, so that you see the video and say, see, yes, it's working. Um, uh, you can ask for a tutorial if you want it, or you can say later. Uh, these are the things that come with Blackboard. Now, once you're on this screen, um, there are certain things that you need to pay attention to. So here on this panel on this side, if you click on it right here, you have uh, the chat option where you can chat with the students uh, with everyone with moderator you have a choice then here you will see the users that have joined okay let me move this to the left or to the center so here you will see when you click on this one you will see the users that are in there and then on this one um, here is the share content what do you want to share with the student you want to share with a black uh, share a black um, a whiteboard you want to share with an application like the browsers that you're in or you want to send them files so here you choose you can even uh, send them a poll of how they feel about the session that you're providing and then here you can change uh, the setting with your picture your profile if you want to upload a picture and so forth and then on this side here you can click on this one um, so this is how you feel about uh, uh, the session that's going on you can say I'm happy so this will show up next to your name if you go to uh, the attendees option you will see that will show up there and you can ask the students on how they feel about each session if you have a question they can click on that and so forth and then on the left side here you can click on start recording so that you record that session that you have for that students and later on upload it for them 
Um, and, and that's basically it. Oh, you can then after that, you can just click on this and then say leave session. So what I will do is um, basically upload these uh, steps that I have created for you, uh, uh, add it to the video, and then if you have any question, um, uh, you, can, uh, you can send it to me. Maybe we should add a step 13 and then say maybe vote or volunteer for Dr. Muhammad Ali. <laughs> That's the website. Uh, thank you for those of you that are already volunteered and that are already that have already donated uh, to the campaign. As you all know that I'm running for school board uh, in our district, uh, District 4. Uh, everything had been delayed and as you know the, uh, the election of the primary instead of April 28th, right now it's on uh, uh, June, uh, June 2nd. All right, thank you very much. And that would be the end of the, the session. I hope you benefited from this. Thank you.